Hey guys, this is Champon TV. I'm Tatsu, nice to meet you. In this channel, we teach you guys abacus in English. And our purpose is to lead you to be abacus masters. Let's begin the lesson. Today's point is to read numbers on abacus. Okay. So, first of all, we have to remember the nouns of each part of abacus. First, this black line is frame. These vertical lines are columns. And this horizontal bar, this horizontal line is bar. And these points on the bar are dots unit points. And this is more important. The top piece above the bar has the value of 5, each of it. And the bees below the bar have the value of 1, respectively. Okay, next, I tell you guys how to hold the pencil and the abacus. You hold a pencil with your right hand, you grab it, and you have to use your, only your thumb and four fingers, like this. And you have to hold the abacus with your left hand. Okay, let's watch the video. Sit at a desk when you use abacus. Lay the sort of a flat on the desk in front of you. And hold the frame with your left hand as shown. And you have to hold your pencil with your right hand. And you have to use only your thumb and four finger, like this. Let's learn how to display zero. The beast above the bar goes up, all the beast goes up. And the bottom beast below the bar fall down. This situation is zero. Let's check the video. With your left hand, lift the top of the abacus toward you so that all of the top beads fall down to the bar. Move your right forefinger from left to right along the upper edge of the bar. This will push up all the top beads. When all beads are pushed away from the bar, this, is, this shows zero. Okay, let's add numbers. Dot unit point is supposed to be ones. So, there are two points, but you can use whichever you want to. Okay, today, I will use this point. Okay, okay, shall we start? Let's start on one dollar. As I explained, the bees below the bar have the value of one, respectively. So, the answer is this. Okay, let's write two dollars. Let me see once again. The bees below the bar have the value of one each of it. So, the answer is one and two. Okay? Next, number three. This is the same. One, two, and three. Okay, how about four? I'm sure that you know. I'm sure that you understand it. 
one, two, three, and four. This is the answer. One, two, three, four. Then, Do you come up with number five? So look at the, look at the bottom beads. There are only four beads, but you should add five dollars. So what do you think? As I explained, the beads above the bar have the value of five. So the answer is this. This is five. Okay? And next, let's try six dollars. Okay, you should think like this. Number five, five dollars and one dollars. Like this. So the answer is five and one. This is six. Okay. Okay, let's move on to seven dollars. This is the same as six dollars. Five dollars and two dollars. This is very important. Like this. Five, six, and seven. This is seven dollars. Five, one, two, seven. Then, how about eight dollars? Five dollars and three dollars. So, five, six, seven, and eight. This is eight dollars. So finally, how about how about nine dollars? Five, one, two, three, four. This is nine dollars. So number five. One, two, three, four. This is nine dollars. Okay, let's add ten dollars. The left side is bigger than right side. So this is one, then this is ten. Hundreds and thousand. So, ten dollars. This is tens, as I explained. So, look at this. We have to add one dollar. So, We have to add one dollar. So, as explained, the beads below the bar have the value of one. So, this is ten. Okay, next, look at the right side. This is zero. So we don't have to do nothing. We don't have to do anything. This is ten. Okay. Then how about seventeen dollars? This is same. One. One. And then we have to look at ones. This is seven. So seven is five and two. Like this. 
five, six, and seven. This is seventeen. One, seven, five, one, two. This is seventeen. Okay, let's move on to one hundred dollars. As I told you, this is a hundred, tens, and ones. So first of all, look at the hundreds. We have to add one dollar. So one. Look at tens, zero. So we don't have to do anything. Look at ones. This is also zero. So this is hundred. Okay. Then, how about 111? Look at hundreds, ones, so add one dollar. Look at tens, one, one dollar. Look at ones, this is also one, so one dollar. This is 111. Okay. Then we should move on to thousand. Look at thousand. This is one. We should add one dollar. Look at hundreds. Zero. Look at tens, zero. Look at ones, this is also zero. So, this is that one thousand dollar. So, how about one thousand five? Look at thousand. We should add one dollar. Look at hundreds, zero. Tens, zero. Ones, we should add five. So, top bids have a value of five. This is one thousand five. In the end of this lesson, I give you guys three questions. First of all, what is this number? The answer is one, two, three. Tens is three. Ones, five, six, six. So the answer is 36. Next. What is this number? Change, change, change. Gotama, gotama, each other. Agate, agate. So, so. What is this number? So, the answer is hundreds, five, six, six, tens, five, six, seven, ones, one. So the answer is 671. Okay, finally, what is this number? Look up thousand. One, two, hundreds, one, tens, five, six, ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is two thousand one hundred sixty nine. Okay. 
Now, you understand how to read numbers on Nabokov's? So, if you like it, please subscribe this channel. See you. This is Champo TV.